Well, I'll tell you what, guys and girls, this has to be one of the worst traffic cities I have ever seen. And the reason why this is much worse than normal isn't necessarily just down to the way the city is designed. It's because they are using the real-time mod. Now, for those that don't know what the real-time real mod does, it used to be called or Rush Hour. It's a different mod, but did the same thing. And basically, for certain times of the day, around the rush hour times, school pickup times, if there's ever any um, events in your city, it will cause lots and lots of traffic. And look at this. I've got the traffic flow up on the screen. When I first loaded this, it was at 20%. It is getting worse and worse and worse and backing up further and further down the highway. Well, now it's at 11%. It's backing up all the way down the highway. Let's go all the way through here. This is where the highway hits. The highway also continues down here, and it's backing up from that way as well. 11%. How bad is this going to get? Oh, my goodness. Look at this. It's literally backing up. Wow. I think if I left this long enough, it would back up all the way out of the, of the map. That's the edge of the map. That is nuts. 9%. <laughs> oh, with the rush hour mod. Yeah, because it gives you that extra boost of traffic. Even road systems that could be working quite happily under normal conditions will fail with the rush hour mod. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave this running. What's the time? It's 10.52. Let's see if we can get past rush hour and see what happens. So a couple of minutes later, 8% traffic. That is absolutely nuts so it's not a huge city we've got a forty-three thousand population i'm gonna keep an eye on that see if it goes any lower six percent oh my goodness i just want to see how low this is going to go before we start this video five percent wow four percent this is absolutely nuts well, I don't know whether I caught it there on the video, but it dropped down to 3% for a second. And this is the edge of the map. I just really want to see if this is going to back up right to the edge of the map. That'll be great. Uh, just, just for my curiosity. If this is something that uh, you would like to get involved in, in having your city fixed, then don't forget you can send it to me on the Steam Workshop. Um, if you're not sure how to do that, so let's follow this car into the city. Check the... Uh, Pinned comments below. I will put some details on there. And then I will take a look uh, at your city. Don't send me ones that are deliberately made to be bad. Uh, I won't be looking at those. But ones like this that are obviously nice big cities that have just got a problem. In this case with the real-time mod. But in other cases just because the city's got so large. Um, I'd definitely be interested in taking a look at those. And this blimmin' tanker's holding us right up. We're off again. Here we go. Well, we've almost reached the end of the map. That is nuts with the traffic, and it's still building up. We're in the fog, so it's probably hard for you to see. Oh, my goodness me. Let's check what the traffic's at. 4%. Whether we'd ever get down to zero, I don't know. So after allowing the city to fall to a rack and ruin, just so I could see how bad the traffic would get, I've reloaded the save game from the beginning, and we're going to take a bit of a look at what's going on. So we've got all the traffic coming in down the highway here. This highway intersection leads to this, leads to nowhere. It's just uh, future planning by the look of it. It then all moves down into here. And then also from the other direction, we have the other highway coming in. It all leads down into here. This one junction is taking all the traffic from both the ways in. And it is the only way that I can see to get from one side to the other. So we've got some industry here. Uh, let's just put this view on to make it easy to see. So yeah, we've got lots of commercial, lots of houses. Some farms right in the middle and then some more industry over here. And as people want to go to work, they're crossing from one side to the other and they're going through here. The only other little road that there is between the two is this one tiny road here. And as you can see, not many people are using that. So how can we try and fix this? I definitely think we could make use of this junction that we've got here maybe even this road what does that lead to down here the harbor okay so i'd like to get this connected to the highway over here um how much money do we have we have nearly eight million to spend although you're losing a lot of money because 
yeah, problems are going to start building up. Trash isn't going to get collected. There's going to be a lot of issues. So let me get a connection from here to here and we'll see what that does. What we're probably going to find is I'm going to build up all of these connections and do different roads, solve some traffic. It won't solve straight away because it is so bad. We'll need to let the game run for a bit. We'll lose some population. Some other problems will happen. And then the next time a rush hour event kicks in, we'll probably find things will work much better. Okay, so I've just run a little six-lane road down here round to this section because we're getting a lot of cargo traffic from this cargo uh, set up here. We've actually got two cargo train stations. Um, I think you've tried to split the traffic between them both and it hasn't really worked. What you'll find is the game will only ever use the nearest one. So this one here probably really not needed. And yeah, what I'm thinking of doing here is making this one way. Because as you can see, trucks are coming out, going back this way and it's getting in the way of the cars that are coming in there. So let us just make this one way going in like that and then we'll have that one way coming out and what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to connect them up uh, let's stay above the road there we go i'm actually going to connect them up to this little four lane road here so if they need to come onto the highway they can come around this way if they really need to go back that way they can and that will keep this thing moving quicker because there we go they're all going to turn around they're not going to get in each other's way Excellent. What I'm, uh, oh, I see. It's on the wrong side of the road. Ah, okay. Okay, so there we go. Things are moving much smoother. These are coming out of the old cargo station, which isn't there. But these trucks will now go on in on this side and out on that side. And they won't cross over from each other. And what I've done as well is rather attach, rather than attach that road to this one here, because we've got a lot of backing up traffic, I've let them go into in here, which is just another way into this area, just to try and split the traffic a bit. But that means this is keeping moving nicely. Okay, what we also want to do is give people access to this side of the city without having to go through that junction as well. So I am going to put in um, a junction along here. There we go. So something like that. And just to split uh, where they come in and where they go out, I've moved it down to these two junctions. Again, not the way I would normally do it, but I'm trying to sort of work with the roads that you've got. So that gives them another way into this area. And in fact, I would even put some more cross roads here. So these guys can get over to this side. And let's just do that now. Let's grab this road here. There we go. And we're going to add... Let's have a look. We could add a nice little crossroad there so they can get from one side to the other. And perhaps even one across here as well. Maybe this one doesn't need to be so big. We'll just go with a small four-lane road. Let's try not to lose any of the items you've got there. Just to connect to that one there. Just to give people other options to move about the city. Now, what have you got going on here? Okay, so I noticed you've got this monorail that's running through here. But for some reason, you've turned these ones off over here. Um, I would definitely leave these on. Does it go any further? Yeah, let's put those on as well. Might not be as used as other ones. But what we can do then is extend the line. Yes, we can see that you've got this one monorail line that runs here, right across to the other side of the city. That's good. Gives people options to move around. I've also noticed you've got two tram lines, but all they do is sort of go round in a circle here. Uh, your tram actual line goes up here. So um, we could move your tram line routes to go around here and start picking up some of these people as well. I think that would definitely be helpful. Okay, so your tram line now goes all the way around and takes in both of these areas and also removes some of the tram stops. You had them very close together. So here, 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 and even perhaps this one I might... Oh, I'll leave that one in, but some of them are far too close and some of them are right next to big road junctions like this i mean this one here i'd remove that one and that one you've got a stop there and a stop there but with the junction nearby you just want to maybe spread them out a bit so i can what you probably did is remove them from going round here because of the traffic coming down this road which is fair enough but i think you will get more people using them as time goes by which of course will decrease your traffic 
Okay, and something else I'm going to do here to help this move a little bit quicker, and this is the junction that we had coming off onto this road, is I'm going to change that to a two-lane one-way road. Let's just pause the game a moment. I'm going to use the lane tool here. Actually, that's okay. So that one's going left or straight on, and that one's going right. Yeah, just to get things going. And what I've done, as this is the busier road coming in, is I've given them priority over everything else. Ideally, I'd like a roundabout there, but you've got so many other roads and things going on here. I'm going to let that run for a bit and see how it goes. Most of them are turning this way coming down this road or heading off into the cities but something else i would like to add to the city is more paths for people to get around because a lot of this uh, civilian traffic uh, a lot of these people you know not the trucks and things would happily walk to work like over here i mean we've got this little road over here but i think if we add some more easily accessible paths people will actually walk a very very long way even i would say from all the way over here so i've done this before i've added a path highway to my cities and it works really well i'm going to do the same here maybe even a bicycle path as well next to it i could use the mod down here right we can have a walking path and a bicycle path all the way through the city there we go alongside this road and then we're going to connect it up to the rest of these guys down here i'm going to bring this all the way down and we're going to give access to the other side of the road as well uh, i'm going to remove that in a bit to give us some space is that just going to squeeze through there yep Okay, let me set this up and I'll come back to you. Right, we now have a path network which runs from all the way down here. We have connections going into this part of the city over the top, underneath. Then it runs all the way down the length of here with, again, lots and lots of connections. That goes all the way along here. I've got to move that fire station. It goes underground and loops all the way back over here. And already, look, people are starting to use it. Look at that. And then it connects here. We have some more connections over here. And then it goes around in a great big circle. There we go. Just show you where we are. Back over the highway again. So connection there, a connection there. And then it runs all the way down this side with, again, some connections. So hopefully, as the game goes on, more people will choose to use those to get to work. Okay, so let's take a look at this complete and utter nightmare. That is the highway that is backing up all the way down there. Um, where we've got the junctions here where the traffic is coming off. Um, again, I'm going to upgrade those. Just that one piece of road. So we get an extra lane for the cars turning off. That is normally a good idea. So if we go like that, one, two, three. And in that fourth lane is the turn off lane and the rest go on. And I might just back that up a bit there so they can start lane switching a bit early. We might find that some of this traffic is actually just through road traffic. So we'll see what happens with that. Let's take a look at the highway the other side. Yep, we're going to do the same there as well. I'm going to do three pieces. So again, we've got one lane for going off and three for going on. There we go. Look, and already you see some cars are actually moving on. So I'm going to select some of these nodes and say you can't lane switch there. You can't lane switch there. I want you to choose which lane you're on before you get to these four lanes so this part here would be where you would pick whether you're going to use the lane to come off or to go on so that is definitely going to help some of the traffic and I'm all, look there we go some of the cars are moving on already we're going to start seeing some traffic increasing it's shift s by the way to do that there we go and that's fine they can start choosing where they want to go there so once some of these cars get moving let's just delete that one there as he's trying to merge there we go. Some of these will carry on. You're trying to merge, and I think the rest of these are going to carry straight on. Immediately, that is going to free up some of the traffic on the highway. Let's just delete a couple of merging cars here that might be causing some issues, just to get things going. And there we go. There we go. The highway is moving again. That is fantastic. But once they come off the highway, it then hits this nightmare here and trying to get into here so let's just take a look at this island and see how you have it set up so first of all let's take a look at the priority signs so you don't have any they're going to give way so they get to move we're going to make sure that is set all the way around 
which doesn't help when it's at a complete standstill, but will start keeping things moving. And we also want to check our junction restrictions. Yep, you've removed this one here, which means they can enter the junction if there's space. We'll do the same there. That one you've all already done. Uh, let me just check these other roundabouts as well. So you've got some stops. and Yeah, we don't want that. We don't want that. Um, not quite sure what's going on there. What you want is that one for give way. Uh, you want this one here to give way coming on. Although there is no other traffic going anywhere other than moving around here. And then you want this one here to give way. There we go. Let's check this one over here. Yeah. So all oh, things are starting to move. Give way. You want this one to give way. And that one you've already set to give way. He can't get through. That is a very, very small road there. So I'm going to upgrade that. Judging by the limited space that we've got, I'm just going to put a four-lane road in there just to get things moving a bit. So what have we got here? One, two, four lanes coming into that, and then they hit this. I mean, this here is just blocking up everything. So what I would say, let's just have a look. We don't have traffic lights. Yeah, they're all coming up here to cross over and go that way. If we sent them down there, and there's already enough traffic coming through here. So... Let's see if we can uh, keep this one moving. Ideally, I don't want these guys coming down here and trying to get onto the highway. We could do with some other slip lanes so people can get in and out where they need to go. Maybe we'll come back to that. Let's just have a quick look here. What I'm going to say is, yeah, we're going to delete that connection. That is really not very good at all. And we want these guys to have the priority at moving through. So, if we just take a look at our stop signs here. Yeah, we've already got a priority going in. That's good. And, yep, you've removed the junction restriction. So, coming out, that'll keep going. Coming in, we'll keep moving as well. Um, let's just take a look at this junction. Yep, we've done the same priority. We want give way on both sides there. We want, I mean, this many, this many junctions this close to each other is a bit of a no-no whoops there we go but i'm gonna try and delete not many roads that's, that's my plan going into a city fix is try and generally work with what you've got and not you know completely remove a whole ton of stuff okay so that's hopefully going to keep that moving a bit. And then the main thing is these guys moving out again. Let's just try and see where they're all going. If we grab this tool here. Let's grab this road. Because that's all traffic heading in that direction. Where are they mainly going? So some are splitting off onto the highway. Which is basically private vehicles. Look, all the private vehicles are coming onto the highway and heading off. And then... Not all the trucks, but most of the trucks. So some are coming up there and going to the highway that direction. Some are heading up over here to the cargo. So can we do something to help these guys that are coming up here able to do that a bit quicker? Okay, I want these guys coming up here to be able to get onto the highway without all the other messing around that we've got going on. Um, going through all of this stuff. Let's just grab that road there and we'll just keep that parking lot active. I'm going to have a slip lane coming off of here. So let's grab our highway slip lane and we're going to see where we can make this go. It's probably going to end up going underground at some point. Page down, it's going to go underground right here. And then we can curve that around and connect so let's go hang on a sec let's curve that around like this to there and we're going to go page up no we're not we're going to go page down to there then we're going to go page up and bring that to there and i'm going to have that connect to there there we go so that's two lanes coming in but we'll see how that goes and then if they want to join the highway going the other way see there's this slip lane here 
I'd like to get that to join straight to that, but we're so limited on space. What I'm going to do is delete these houses here. Again, not ideal, but this is what we're going to do. I'm just going to remove all of that. And, whoops, all of that, all of that, and all of that, so we don't get anybody moving in. Is I'm going to take this road here, and we're going to go straight underground. And then we're going to see if we can connect to there. Yeah, and then we'll turn those around. So, that one, and that one. So, if you wish to go onto the highway, you can go under there, up there, and on that slip road, and go that way. That would be much, much better if people would use that. And already, they're starting to use it. So, we want to maybe do something with the slip lanes here. You've got... Mm -mm -mm. Let's take a look. Man, I tell you what, the longer I have this running, the harder it seems that we're going to be able to fix all of this. I don't want that to go straight on. I want that to turn right. And those two to go straight on. Um, what is this sort of road here? You've got like this weird turning lane thing going on. I'm going to change this road to... Let's have a look. Something a little larger. Maybe not that large. That one there. Yeah, let's try that. And then if we take the lanes on here... There we go. This road here, we're going to have that lane for turning right and those two for straight on. And then, yeah, hopefully that will work better. And there, already we're getting some people coming down there. And I'd like them to actually choose where they're going to go earlier. So I'm also going to take this road here and say... Yes. I'm going to get them to not lane switch. There we go. At all there. So they'll decide a bit earlier. And I'm also, in fact, thinking of removing this connection. We'll see how that goes after a while. Hopefully, people will start using it. Yeah, so coming off the highway, coming down here, a lot of these trucks are going up this road here to head off into this section. I definitely think this needs to be a roundabout. So we are going to use our roundabout builder. Uh, we're going to make that a little bit smaller, and we're going to pick our three-lane highway. Three-lane highway. It's going to remove some of the buildings there, but tough. There we go. We just need to remove some of these around the place. And also, I always suggest, don't have people with their businesses right smack up. I mean, even these ones right on the main road... Uh, maybe these ones here, right by the start of the junction. Anything like that, right by a main road, I would remove. There we go. Let's see if we can get this one moving. I'm also just going down your main high street here and removing the use of this road with this turning lane in the middle. Um, they're good in certain circumstances, but what's happening is, especially in the busier parts of town... Uh, if you could let me do that, thank you very much, is the cars are basically all bunching up in the middle where they're both trying to use the turning lane. So, yeah, I'm just going to remove all of those and I think that is also going to help with the traffic flow as well. Right, I've been letting the game run for a while. Let's take a look. Let's start at the highway that was so backed up you didn't know what to do with yourself. It's going well. People are using this other little junction here, not as much as I would hope, Probably because it's a long way round. But anyway, um, the highway, much, much cleaner than it was before. I mean, look at that. That is great. Still some busy spots, but we're going to work on those. But as it gets here into town, not too shabby, I have to say. Things are moving much smoother on the roundabouts. Very good, very good. Are people using our paths? Yeah, look, people are using our paths. So that is definitely going to cut down on the traffic. Let's have a look. The main massive highway intersection that was just doing everything. A lot cleaner and smoother than before. Still not perfect, but definitely better than it was. And people are using these other ways to get on and off the highway, which immediately takes out a whole load of traffic from there. This little roundabout's moving smoothly. I would like to remove a lot of these side roads. Um, and maybe have them all come in on one big roundabout at the end or in the middle down here or something like that. Maybe that's something you could do yourself. Um, I think as well some slip lanes would be very good. Look, lots, well, lots of people. There's two people cycling to work. <laughs> some si slip lanes to get on and off the highway would definitely work very well. This is moving okay. It does get busy. 
Again, I would normally have a roundabout here, but as the traffic isn't too bad, I'm going to leave that running. Let's just take a look at what the traffic is. It is 60%. So that is a pretty hefty jump from what we had before. And it hasn't really taken long to get to that. Now, as we're using the rush hour or the real time mod, I should say, I'm going to let the game run through a full day and we're going to see whether it manages to cope with rush hour traffic. Okay, we're sort of jumping around the 59, 62% mark. A couple of other little things I've just done on this main road through here is I've deleted some of these connecting roads. So the one that was right next to here and then I've done sort of every other one. And then I've also upgraded this road here to a nice big four lane road and all the way along the back here. So I would even perhaps delete these ones, but it's not moving too bad. I don't want to push all of this traffic through to this junction. So spreading it out a bit, it's going not too bad. And then I did the opposite on the other side. So it's a T-junction, take that one out. T-junction, take this one out. Until we get down here, it was, it was a, an even number or odd number. So I've made sure there's no junctions right next to the roundabout. And it's moving okay. Uh, the problems with trash and everything are because of your traffic. Although I don't think we have enough garbage processing. But I'll let you fix that. But yeah, that is not too bad. 64%. I want to get through a rush hour in the morning and see what that's like. Things are definitely moving a lot smoother than they were. Let's just check over here. Yeah, this is pretty bad. Um, I've removed, again, any connections right next to the junction, like here. And also any, um, over here, any industry that's right along this road. I've removed all of that. And on this side, all the farms that are against this road, um, I've removed. So we haven't got any trucks stopping to do any deliveries on the main road. That's normally something I like to do, and that helps quite a lot. Okay, so we've gone through the busiest part of the day, and nothing is backing up like it was before. The highway is totally clear in both directions. This junction here is moving. It's very, very busy, but it's moving. We're now coming up towards lunchtime, and just before this as well, we got up to 61%. So I think that is pretty good from... 3 or 4% it was last time to up to 61%. I don't think we can complain at that, can we? Let's rebuild that for you. There we go. So what do you reckon? Let me know in the comments below. Would you have done anything differently? Let me know. I'm sure you have some good ideas as well. Um, what I'm going to try and do is put the before and after um, saves as a link in the description so you can also come and check out the city yourself would you like me to fix your city then upload your save to the steam workshop share it and send me the link i would love to take a look maybe it's not traffic maybe you want more parks maybe you want a nice industry area what would you like let me know check out the other video on the screen as well that would be great and leave a like if you enjoyed it and thank you very very much for watching and i will see you very soon take care Bye-bye.